Hello, today I want to show you a little bit about how to navigate around uh, the internet with your uh, Samsung Smart TV. Now this is on the far left here, that's the uh, remote control that came with this TV. I, I really don't like it. It's, it doesn't have any numbers on it. You have to push too many buttons to get us to do anything. So, and the one in the middle is one that I've, I've got to goes with my uh, Samsung TVs. I've got in other rooms, and so the one on the far right. That's but that's but the one in the center is not for a smart TV. However, it does uh, do most of the functions. But the one on the right is another one that I ordered for a smart TV, and with all the wisdom that they had they forgot to put a dot in there so you can't say 2.2 you have to say 2 and it can go to 2.1 and then you have to channel up to get to 2 so needless to say none of them is perfect but you can navigate around the internet and mainly what I was going to show you is how to go to the YouTube and use a little bit of YouTube with it uh, without having to be on a computer you just sit there and do it with your TV so stand by Okay, with this type of antenna, this is, I mean, uh, remote, this is the one that was in the middle of the remotes. And to access your web browser, you just want to hit on where it says Media Play. Media Play, which is right there. You press Media and Play, and it goes to that screen right there, and then you go over to where it says well browser and click on it and there you go you're on the internet and you hit that button there and go over to YouTube and there's your YouTube now I'm going to tell you this little arrow that you see keep moving back and forth there it takes a little getting used to on operating it but once you do there's not much to it but it takes a while to get used to it and you say a lot of bad words when you're trying to make it work but like I say if you keep on messing around with it you can eventually get it you know so that's all you can do is just play with it and try it and See how you like it, and then when you get ready to leave, just hit that X up there, and you go down here to exit web browser, and hit your uh, OK button, center button, and it goes back to this. Now this type of antenna, this is one that was on the, the uh, far right. You have this uh, multicolored button in the middle here, this one right here, and that's the one you press to access the internet and your web browser like that. Once you highlight that, once you highlight your uh, web browser, just hit that center button, your OK button, and you're right back to the same thing. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of different things on this thing. As you can see right here, you got Google, which is free, of course, and you got Yahoo, which I imagine is free, and I don't know about the NFL or MSN, they're probably free also. Just about all this stuff right here, or most of it I would say, is free. But now you're going to have to be careful with this stuff because most of it they want you to sign up for it and, uh, and uh, register and all that stuff. And if you're not careful when they want you to give them a, a credit card or something, that's when I always stop and just get away from it. Unless you want to join. Now there's a lot of stuff in here. It's good stuff, and you might want to you might want to sign on to it. I mean, you got a lot. There's a lot of options here to get to uh, sign up for this stuff. So there's a lot of it you might like, you know. So like I say, you just have to try and see. But you you have just about as much options with this as you do with. Uh, with your computer, you know, I mean, you can just keep on accessing stuff with it. But like I say, they you they want you to pay for this stuff. So you like this, you have seven days to test it, you know. So you can try it and see if you like it, you know. And 
you do, go ahead and sign up for it and pay for it. But if you don't, if you like me, you're a little stingy, just say, hey, I don't think that's a thing to me. Now, to get out of this stuff, all you have to do is hit, there's a, if I can find it on the camera here, there's a return button right here above that red A. You just click on it, and it starts backing you back out of it like this. But as you can see, like I told you here, you got search button, you got your content, you got Hulu, you know, and that's another one is Hulu's got some pretty good stuff on it, but they want you to pay for it if you watch it. So, like I say, you just have to, there you go, so you can get started with your free trial or you can log in if you have an account with them. But I just hit my return button and go back to where I was at. And that's the way you do it. And that's about all it is to accessing this stuff. So you can use this TV just about like you do a computer if you got the patience for it. And I'm going to keep on trying until I find me some kind of a keyboard that'll work with it <laughs> or a mouse or something. Because that, uh, that little arrow I was guiding around a while ago, it can be a little nerve wracking. But you get used to it like anything else, and it works pretty good. So, thanks for watching my little video, and I hope you watch more of my videos, and I hope you come back to see me real soon. I'm going to try to make some more videos pretty soon on this same subject here, a little bit different. And uh, come back and see what I got, because I'm going to make them on different, browsing different stuff, you know. So, thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you can. And all the people that join my channel, thanks for joining. Y'all have a good day, and come back and see me real soon now. Goodbye.